Well, don't smell it. Ugh. Am I gonna sh myself now? There's only one type of person in this world that can hit the ball straight down the fairway 200 yards every single time, and that is old men. And you know why they do it? It's because they only take half a backswing. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna golf like old guys. We're only doing half a backswing, and we're gonna see if it improves our average score. So let's get to it, Ryan. All right, first I gotta get determine what is a half backswing. Is this half? Well. If you want to determine half, I'd say a club maybe needs to be parallel, but I'll give that to you. Cause it feels really low here. I'm just, you're basically punching. Exactly. All right, first hole is a par three, 140. I got the club that I would normally hit out just to see what happens with this new swing. Oh no, that didn't go straight or 200 yards. You also went farther back on the backswing. You got to keep that in check. It's hard. 140 yards, I'm using a hybrid. Going right down the middle. Get up there. That was the right club. Just Almost a green in regulation. Flew the pin just a little bit. Okay, so chipping, pretty normal. Old men are just really good at chipping, so I gotta channel that, but I don't have to worry about half a backswing thing. But my goal today, I usually shoot in the low 90s, so we're only playing nine holes today, so my goal is to beat a 45. If I can beat a 45 with this old man swing, it is now the swing for me. Have four it! I mean, check this fit out also. Khaki pants, brown church belt. I'm like one red polo away from picking up a shift at State Farm, so. The score for me to beat today is 40. These old snipers are just hitting 80s every single day. Okay, that's not what we wanted. Way too much hip mobility. You look like a guy that just got a new hip, hip job. Tyler, you're at a point in life right now where you haven't gotten the hips replaced, so tone down the hip mobility no, a little no, no, bit. I got two brand new ones <laughs> and a knee. I'm the bionic man, that was dumb. Yeah, this is how old guys putt. They all have a weird putting stroke. They're either like all wrists or they're full body or they literally walk up to it and they're just like, okay, old man putting here, not even looking. Here we go. Ooh, that's looking good. That's looking really good. Blew it by. Greens are going fast today. Good putt, Bogey. Ryan. Again, not looking. Jesus Christ. Well, maybe old man golf isn't for me. I think they have more like technique than you think they do. Okay, so on a consistent basis, probably hit the driver 250, 260. <laughs> you suck, Ryan. I know. Today, we're gonna shoot for about 200 yards. That's, That's pretty far past actually, half. That might be too. Sit down! Fairway and regulation. It's easy as that. God, that felt good. I'm not gonna swing my driver once today. My grandpa doesn't even own one. That'll be just fine, actually. Tree trouble. So to really get into character as the old man today, I brought three old men clubs. And I'm going to use one right now. Their most utilized club in every old man's bag. Foot wedge. You'll see the other two eventually. Um, also, the backswing's getting pretty, pretty. Oh, you want to talk. Pretty. Your last one, you damn near hit your shoulder. Really? Jimbo! God. The backswing was not to the shoulder. It was pretty far. I mean, Ryan. Your club's way higher than his. There's so many other variables that go into it. He'll never apologize. He'll never admit he's wrong. Yeah, but you had all authority to get mad at me as well, but I, you didn't. I, I fact-checked you. you did. So this drive went about 220. Whoops. Might have got a little steep with the uh, the backswing, but we're a buck 50 out. And if you remember on the last par three, buck 40 is the hybrid. All right, I told Ryan before this, so I want you to dress like an old man just to see how different we would end up looking. Completely opposite old men right here. I tried to go with the sporty shoes, but I think they're a little bit too new. I actually just wore shit that was previously my grandpa's. Anyway, hitting the hybrid again, third time, same hole. A hybrid, we're 60 out. I'm gonna Pop it right on there. Like that. And putting. We, we are putting. Hybrid left me a little short. I'm still on the fringe. You show me an old guy that actually chips off the fringe and doesn't putt, and I'll show you a liar. Oh, yeah. Second old man club of the day. Look at this thing. I'll, uh, I'll show you its trick when we get to the hole. Gotta get there. That's gotta go. All right, par putt. Back is slouched. That's in the hole. God damn it. Is that good? That's good. Can you grab my ball for me? I sure can. Thanks, Jimbo. Here you go, Vern. Really, Vern? Vern's a great old man name. All right, not lining shit up. Here we go for the bogue. Good putt. Just like that. Oh, excuse me, one second. I didn't have to bend down for shit. I've actually been on a pretty strict uh, grape nut diet. And oh, lots no of lots of fiber. 
the backswing's getting really steep. Oh, oh we're in the done. sand. I topped it. Okay. This is a f***ing show. There we go. That one's on the green. You are a disgrace to old man golfers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently I'm getting a little crazy with my backswing. So Ryan's gonna hold a club back here so I don't go any higher than I'm supposed to. Okay, give me a practice swing. Holy f I'll give you a little bit more. I just gotta get used to right here. <laughs> All right, I'm a firm believer that the only people in the world that are drinking Fireball anymore are old guys and 19 year olds. So here's the birdie juice of choice, except after that last hole, it's triple bogey juice. Sure, I brought something for you to chase that with, actually. What? <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's f***ing prune Holy juice. Holy shit. Real good, Jake. Real good. Well, don't smell it. I mean, it makes sense. It tastes like raisins. Ugh. Am I gonna sh myself now? Okay, par four, hole number eight. I'm eight over. I'm sitting at a 40 right now if I par out. So, driver's out of the bag again. I just, I that, had to that, do that. That was, I, that was a huge swing. I know, I had to do that. that. I just. <laughs> That's so much better than your first drive. That is as middle of the fairway as it gets. What the f That's a 200 plus yard drive right down the dick. This. This is pretty big for breakfast ball. So this doesn't happen hardly ever, but Ryan and I are both in the fairway off our drives. <laughs> Sit down. Okay, just off the fairway. Up and down for par. Should be good. That should be good. Hole Get out, in the please. hole. Hole out, please. Oh, Ryan. God. Oh, God. And it, oh, keep going. Just, just keep going. That one got legs and ran away. Never leave a double bogey putt short. I'm 10 over right now. Double bogey, triple bogey. Didn't help me out at all. A lot of fairways hit today, a lot of putts made, a lot of chips missed. So we can take a little bit away from this. The long game is there with old man golf. You're not gonna believe what I'm at right now. My goal is 45. I'm currently sitting at a 44. So all I need to do is a hole out here. <laughs> It'd be a great way to get my first hole in one. That's deep. Oh yeah, I buried the headline. Same ball. Most dangerous hole to lose a ball on. <laughs> nice to see the younger generation getting ready for uh, mid-twenties golf. Looking for balls in the water. I'm about to show those whippersnappers a thing or two here in a sec. I told you I had three clubs in my bag that all old men must have. First one was the foot wedge. The second one was that weird claw putter thing so you have to bend over. The third one is the ball grabber. I'm gonna show these kids how to get balls out of the water. You guys find any good ones? Yeah. You gotta get one of these. Yeah. I'll borrow it to you. There we go. Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? There's a f flag stick in the water. Look at how crusty that thing is. It's just laying in the water. As much as I want to save finders keepers, I'm not bringing that thing home. Trickle. That's a great putt. God. Great leg putt. That's old man golf. I think if we can take anything away from this, it's the tee shots, especially for me. So I think what we need to do next is we need to find a 65 and older scramble. Yeah. We need to get into that, team up as a- Join uh, it as team one. Team up as a pair. It seems like we have every piece of the puzzle. My biggest takeaway is that I'm going to golf normal for as long as I possibly can until my body breaks down and I'm required to golf like this. So grandpa, you got a little more respect for me today. This isn't easy. Well, that's a breakfast ball.